Popeye fans. So, you know, I had a chance to rewatch that Patty Pimmon fight. You know, sometimes when you watch it the first time, you're just hyped, you're stoked, you're not really necessarily looking at it as a um as a judge judge point of view, or you're not really looking at it as a critic or whatsoever. You're just kind of enjoying the fight. So when you kind of get a chance to rewatch it again, you kind of look at all the things you might have missed. And I gotta say, I honestly feel like the fight is pretty much similar to what I saw the first fight. First fight. I saw Patty throw a lot of shots. A lot of them really didn't land too much. Um, I feel like Jared Gordon landed significant more shots and did a little bit more damage to Patty. Definitely the first round. I really cannot see how you give it to anybody else aside from Jared Gordon. Um, <clears throat> second round, it was a little bit back and forth. But um, again, I still feel like it was maybe in those last few seconds, I could see maybe uh, Patty doing a little bit more and such like that. But at the end of the day, I just see Jared Gordon just doing a little bit more. Not because basically what I'm th saying is Patty did more. You know, he threw more, but he wasn't really landing as much. Or landing significantly. You know, we saw Jared Gordon. He was landing. He was popping Patty pretty good. Um, and rocking his head a little bit here and there. It wasn't like super bad. Like he didn't really necessarily hurt Patty. But you can see that when it comes to the actual strikes being landed. And when it comes to the strikes. Um, what kind of significant blows were taken. I really feel like Patty was taking more shots from Jared Gordon. Than Patty was landing on Jared. And then that third round was a bit of a snoozer. But... You know, there was like, I think, what, six to four when it comes to strikes between the both of them. But I do believe Jared Gordon had more control time. If not, if I'm correct, it's like a little over three minutes, if not almost four. You know, he held him a lot. I mean, I feel like Jared Gordon could have done a lot more to edge that fight out, um, edge that round out. But at the end of the day, you know, he didn't do quite enough to in favor of the judges. But here's where we're, the big old controversy is at, you know. It would be one thing to say like, hey, you know what? It was a split decision. It was, um, it could have gone either way. But it was the judges that gave Patty the nod and giving him all the rounds. You know, some judges even gave maybe Jared Gordon a round here and there. But it was unanimous decision that it wasn't to the judges' eyes, not in favor for Patty. Now, Patty could have saved face a little bit when he did that little um, post-fight interview with uh, Joe Rogan. And he could have said something like, you know, hey, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the best fight. It wasn't the best performance of me. But, of course, he, he wants around, goes around and talks. And he's young. He's brash. You know, he wants to be like that kind of, kind of Conor McGregor. Um, has that Conor McGregor edge a little bit. But at the end of the day, yeah. Um, yeah, it just did not look good at all. It did not look good at all. It made us even more like, whoa, what are you talking about? Why are you bragging? Why are you being happy? Why are you even saying fight of the night? Why are you saying all these things? Now, of course, it's your character. You're probably playing the character. You're playing the part. But yeah, at the end of the day, was it a robbery? I wouldn't say robbery because I know robbery is a very easy word to say. But the judges definitely got it wrong. Definitely 100%. There is literally no other way. It was, The fight wasn't even close. It really, really wasn't. You know, Pat, it's not like Patty was getting dominated, though. It's a, a robbery is when someone's getting completely dominated and it just they just give the fight away to somebody else. You know, this was not a robbery whatsoever. Um, I do feel like it could have gone either way if Patty did a little bit more, just a little bit more, especially in that third round. But being the fact that he didn't do much, it, it, it's very hard to give him anything else. You know, yeah, you could be throwing like 100 shots, but if you're landing maybe 20 of them, what's the point? You know, your judges, it's not about throwing. You know, you think about it. When judging a fight and everything like that, I know what people, what um, other fighters would say, like, well, when you're judging a fight, you know, yeah, you take the person down, but if you're not doing anything, just like we remember with that Rose uh, Rose fight and Carla Esposito fight, you don't get points for defense, and you don't get points for throwing hands. You don't get points for just kicking air or throwing air, you know, that's what you're doing. You're throwing but your punches are being blocked. Your punches are being ducked. You're, you're, you know, this guy's bobbing and weaving. This guy, you're swinging. You're missing. You're doing all these other things. You don't, you don't get points for that. Sure, you may look busy, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing anything. Now, when you, when someone throws like four punches and maybe they land, maybe two might land, but then you see one guy throw a punch and this, you know, his opponent gets head rocked. You know, it gets pushed back. Then what do you, who do you think really got the better of that? It would probably go to the other guy. 
because who knows what those punches actually done and i know what they're trying to say like well it's damage you know they judge it by damage and unfortunately the one that who looked like they got the most damage out of everything was patty unfortunately so for patty um fans and such um but yeah it's just it's really really bad to see that because i do feel like this could have helped patty in a way because patty is only going to make him even that much more better you know, I do feel strongly where he's at in his career. He needs someone like Jared Gordon to push him to that limit. And it just didn't seem like he got pushed enough. Now, of course, Jared Gordon could have done a lot more. He could have went after it a little bit more, especially in that third round. Even Dana White said it. Hey, you messed up. You know, you probably could have even got the nod 100% if you just put the pressure on. But he played it safe. So, you know, you can't really go necessarily like, oh, feel bad for Jared Gordon. Because Jared Gordon, you know, even though he had it in the bags. You still never do that. You know, we've seen fighters do that a long a, a majority of the time. One of my favorite ones that I always remember to this day was Oscar De La Hoya versus Felix Trinidad in their mega fight that they had in 1999, where Oscar De La Hoya was pretty much um, beating the beating the bricks off of Tito Trinidad, and he was just stalling in the last four or five rounds. You know, it's like you never want to do that. You never, ever want to do that because the judges always t kind of take one that like, eh. This guy doesn't seem like he wants it enough, even though his student shouldn't be judged that way. But unfortunately, that's what the judges like um, judges see and they do. So, guys, I'd like to hear what you got to say. Is Patty Pimlet and Jerry Gordon, was that fight a robbery or was it not? I would really like to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.